YouTube, it is Complex Games here, back again with another Subnautica video. Now, in the last episode, just as a quick recap, everything that we did is uh, basically just made this uh, quick and easy, very simple baby base here. Uh, quite frankly, that's really uh, that's really about it. That's all we did. Um, that being said, I'm not really sure what our goal is here for today. No, but I'm thinking. Uh, the goal is probably going to be to find the moon pool fragments and start working towards getting the uh, sea moth. That's probably that's probably about where we're gonna where we're gonna start here. Come here, you little bastards! Yeah, you, all of you. Uh. Also going to be a good idea to start looking for the grow beds because once we get to the island we can get those trees which basically gives us an endless supply of both food and water. Which I'd say is a good thing to have so that we're not having to catch fish every single time we want to not die. Uh, looks like we've got a radio transmission. Let's do it. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, we're gonna need some lead, and we're gonna need fiber mesh. Fiber mesh, if memory serves, you can acquire from keep five. Creepy DB vineys. Well, where was Life Pod 6? Ah. Uh, looks like we're going to be using some, uh, some clues here. Life Pod 6 transmission. Okay. Hell yeah. Looks like Life Pod's going to be roughly around the area that we're wanting to go, anyways. Judging by the picture. So, let's head that direction and keep our phalanges crossed. Uh, thinking about putting this base a little bit deeper into the creepvine forest, but I do think that creepvine forests are a pretty nifty place for a base. I'm just trying to find kind of an open dish little area in the forest. I'm thinking probably right around this little crevasse here is going to be a good place to get on it. But I'm not really sure because we might want to even... Seek fluid oh, right. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I swear I knew that. Vital See? signs stabilizing. Yeah. You bet your freaking sweet bippy my vital signs. Give me lead. Yeah, baby. Okay. Now we're just going to take our delightful little kniff and... Utilize it right on here. A, a zinc song. You know what? Actually, probably a good thing to start also searching for the fragments for is probably going to be uh, 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 error could not contact brain. Uh, the moon pool. Definitely gonna want the moon pool soon. It's getting about that time. Or, excuse me, not the moon pool, the scanner room. I already said the moon pool. No, the scanner room. Definitely the scanner room. Uh, quick thing we're going to want to do is get the HUD upgrade for the scanner room as well. That's going to just speed things up a billion fold. Let's see here. What was I doing? I was going to cook me some peeps. Boom. Boom. Alright. Okay. Alright. Pepper. And now we need to make the fiber meshes. All right, we should, in theory, be able to make the diving suit now. Maybe. Crap! We need two fiber mesh, not just one. Dag, naber, tabalagit. All right, heading this way. Wow. Probably another good idea is going to be to start working for uh, uh, the compass. 
because that's going to help us get to a lot of different locations a lot more easily and it's also going to totally not at all by any means make it easier for me to totally definitely not cheat because i would never cheat that would be wrong very wrong yep okay one more fiber mesh and boom now we got the radiation suit that's what's up son Voila, we are good. We're all set. We're wearing the radiation suit. We are ready to tackle the problems of this cruel, evil world. And by tackle the problems of this cool, cruel, evil world, I mean curl up into a ball like Squidward and scream future. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? All right, we're gonna start looking for some fragments, and we are also going to search for Life Pod 6. Okay, we uh, we fully unlocked the mobile vehicle bay. Sure did. Awesome. Badass Aroni and cheese, dude. Okay, in that case, a uh, good idea might also be to start working on getting ourselves the uh, Excuse me, guys. My brain is running so slow today because I woke up from a very intense nap not too long before this, and it is messing me all sorts of up. Uh -huh, data downloads, Aurora survivors. Uh, I think we got 17 first, so let's How's your do it. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema, there, there was a zero G gym, my cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. <coughs> You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay, we got two logs from crew six, or life pod six. Ma'am. I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. This is why I'm the only one alive. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Got it! So Life Pod 6 got expl- Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's the big super leviathan thing. Alright, now let's go ahead and work on getting ourselves a battery. Uh, ooh, we've got some big boy wreckage. I'm seeing prime scanning opportunity here. hey -oh. I think that's the last- no, I already had that unlocked. Holy crap. I'm just... I'm not used to having that level of stuff unlocked so quickly. Ooh, scanner room fragments. Okay. That's how we know we're in the right freaking place. Integrating new PDA data. I gotta say, despite how terrifying it is, it is still just an absolutely gorgeous game. One million percent. It is so beautiful. 
There's so much going on, and there's so much adventure. And it feels like a real adventure, you know? Because it's not afraid to terrify you a little bit. And I think in an adventure game that's truly good, that's what you kind of need. Is the, Like, the game needs to be willing to make you piss your pants every once in a while, you know? Because real adventure isn't safe. It isn't within comfort zone, you know? So it just really raises the old immersion factor. And the fact that you're just completely alone, by yourself, and it seems like a helpless situation just makes it so much better. Let's play this. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Mm. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Right. How very comforting. Alright, one battery coming up. Alright, let's get our sweet asses back over there and get ourselves that bloomin' mother-flipping thingy ma -bobber. The scanner room, gosh darn it. Ooh, a bioreactor fragment. How fancy. Finding some fragments for the laser cutter would be pretty great, too. And I'm pretty sure that'll mostly be just in, like, gates and stuff outside. Or, boxes. Okay. Alright, where was that wreckage? Let's get some air real quick. I done gone and got myself lost. Here we go. Life pod 17. Okay, we've already been to life pod 17. Thinking we're probably actually going to end up building our base in this biome. This is usually the biome I build it in. Nope. That's a scanner room fragment. Hell yes. So we need what? One more? Yep, one more. One more and the scanner room is ours, baby! We already have the bioreactor. And going down. just need the one more fragment. I'm trying to check all these crates out here too because I'm really really hoping yep there we go that is what I was hoping to find. Let me guess we need three of those yep. The laser cutter is very important. Oh yeah. Being pretty ballsy here, I really probably shouldn't be going in here already, but blueprint acquired. I know that if I want the laser cutter, this is the place to go. Oh wait, prepare what's that? Today's water ration Damn it. ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. I hate to say it, but yeah, that's probably uh, probably the best move is to find some more wreckage. That being said, I know there's more wreckage around here. It's just I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to go all that crazy far. Do it. Yeah, there is lots of wreckage around here, don't get me wrong.
Just gotta really err on the side of extreme unbounding caution. You know, for all the years that this game has been around, you'd think that they would optimize the terrain generation just a little bit. That looks like a prime spot to put our base right there, though. Well, I think we might be SOL here. Oh, wait a minute. The game just threw us a bone. Why does the music got to do that? Why does the music got to do that? For what reason does the music feel the need to just become terrified? That's the same wreckage we were at. This is unfortunate. There's just no reason. It's not necessary. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That's great. Can I have a scanner room now, please? I wish I had a scanner room to help me find the scanner room. 30 seconds. Oh, screw you in your 30 seconds. Well, okay. I guess... One thing that can be done, as unwise as it would probably be, uh, is we could, in theory, start heading towards the Aurora. Not going to the Aurora. No, no, no. No, no. We're not going to go to the Aurora. Love of God, no. But we can certainly start heading towards the Aurora as the chances of this get ow. As the chances of the scanning room fragments being around the Aurora, I do believe, are not zero. So it is worth a shot. Don't go down. I mean, it is awfully risky, I must say. It's quite risky. I'm trying to play the game the way the game is meant to be played, which is why I haven't gone to the islands yet. Uh, so, wait, what? Uh, so I'm kind of, kind of waiting on the sunbeam to be here before I actually, you know, go that area. And I'm already seeing. Uh, I'm already seeing what appears to be some pretty scannable shiz. Boom, dude! That paid off pretty freaking quick, wouldn't you say? Damn! Yeah, that... Print acquired. That was... I'm not even that close to the Aurora yet. I am literally... kind of shook. Nuclear waste disposal. That's interesting. Dude, we got hella fragments over here. This, this was a good move. Oh yes, oh yes. This is all of the goodness. Let's keep heading towards the Aurora just a little bit, just just a little bit, cause 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 just cause just 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 because just because I hate myself, I guess. I don't know. I just it turns me on to get tortured by myself. Apparently, I don't know. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Surprised the creepy ass computer lady hasn't just been like, what the fuck are you doing? What you're doing is dangerous, you're going to die. Like, I am very surprised she hasn't said those things yet. Ooh, tape. 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds to eat my gooch. I'm also looking for the laser cutter, that's why I'm willing to get a little bit dangerous here. And there's a laser cutter fragment, so we'll just need one more after that one. So we are indeed on the right path of righteousness here. It's just, we gotta be really careful on said path of righteousness, or we will, you know, die. Another bioreactor fragment. There's lots of bioreactor fragments going around. More than enough of those to, to go around, for sure. They're important fragments to have, is what I'm saying. So, the sooner we can get that laser cutter, the better, because that's also the sooner we can get to the Aurora, which means that is the sooner we can get a heck of a lot of answers. And we're good. Laser cutter, boy. Laser cutter. That is where it's at. The propulsion cannon is probably going to be one of the next goals. Looking for that. We'll see. Um, 
kind of surprised by myself right now because to a small degree I'm playing the game the way it's meant to be played believe it or not like mostly a very small very small degree that being said fellas I think I'm yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna end this episode here the next episode the goal is going to be uh, most likely to acquire yeah uh, the goal is uh, I'm thinking we're gonna work on getting that scanner room all put together and set up because that's gonna speed things up pretty quickly uh, and then we're probably gonna get a sea moth uh, the reason we're doing scanner room first is just it's that's gonna help us find what we need for the sea moth a lot more quickly so yeah hopefully you guys like this episode uh, if you like the video make sure to leave a like if you didn't like it then just get out of here I don't know why you watched this far if you didn't like it so bye